That's all I got. That's all I got. That is all I got. It's showtime. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Nita. Your favorite diva, and I'm back for a movie review. The movie that I'm reviewing for you today is streaming on the Hulu platform called Deep Water. It is directed <clears throat> by Adrian Lane. You may know him from Fatal Attraction, Indecent Proposal, and Unfaithful. Um, the movie is starring Ben Affleck, Anna DeArmas, Laura Howery, Tracy Letts, and Grace Jenkins. It is classified mm -hmm. as a drama mystery thriller. Um, it clocks in at one hour and 55 minutes, and the synopsis reads, a well-to-do husband who allows his wife to have affairs in order to avoid a divorce becomes the prime suspect in the disappearance of her lovers. And that is all I'm going to say because this is your spoiler-free review. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, Diva Squad, what's up, you guys? You already know what we do. I watch movies so you don't have to. I give you the good, bad, and a little bit of everything in between with no spoilers, of course. And I'd let you know whether or not you should know or go see it in theaters or, in this case, stream it on Hulu. So let's get with the good, shall we? The good. The acting was one of the best things that I think we had going here. Uh, it doesn't feel like anybody dialed it in. It looks like they did what they could with the material that they were given. Um, we have some veterans. We have Ben Affleck. You know, he's been in the game for a long time. Um, for me, his acting movies have been hit or miss, especially as of late. Um, let's get to the bad. The script is lacking. I heard that this is, um, it is really missing the backstory. It felt like we were plopped, like literally, like a camera crew just came up into the space and was like, record. And we didn't know what was going on. So we watching, we trying to catch up, we trying to figure out, you see what I'm saying? So um, I was so confused. The characters not only that the movie was quite dull, the characters were very unlikable. The things that the director, the writer, the source material, whoever is responsible for this, they did not give us anybody to emotionally attach to. Um, I couldn't root for anybody. Everybody was just kind of like spit out the mouth, like bad taste in my mouth, like just spit it out no um it was just like you was just plopped into a toxic marriage and just watching the paint dry ben like i said the last few moves eh, hit or miss um he does do well like with the gone girl and stuff like that this, this is like the closest to um the betrayal that he's given um a good guy kind of presenting as a good guy but hiding something deep inside um, we've seen that in Go Gone Girl, The Way Back, and all that stuff. Number two, the eroticism that they promised us from the trailer is not, it's not what it's practical. Just watch the trailer for two hours, and there you go. You got the story. You got the movie. That's the movie. It was nothing sensual or steamy, no steamy sex scenes. I thought it would be a little bit more risque, like a, a erotic thriller. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. It's a very one-sided story. It seems like it's telling it from um, Ben Affleck's character's uh, POV. Um, I guess maybe some men will relate better to it might have some type of empathy to Ben's character. I doubt it, but I'm just saying. Um, the pacing, the movie is way too long, dull and repetitive. To, it, it was just, it was too long. 
it was too long for me to not get anything out of it. I didn't care for the tonal shifts or nothing. There were allegories and metaphors, um, um, one with the apple, um, one with the snails, um, with the water, of course, uh, from the title, deep water, um, that I caught. And it makes you think about the things once you get to the ending, um, as you think back of what was going on, you see little clues sprinkled throughout, but it still proved to be ineffective for me as a viewer or a, crit a critic. Before I give you my overall thoughts on Deep Water, why don't you take a moment and follow me on my social media. It's right there. So my overall thoughts of Deep Water, this is a movie that should have been so much better. On paper, it's great. This movie is way too long to have so many gaps in the story that it does. There's no character development. And I, you know, I... I just didn't like it. I didn't like it. The dynamics of the household are strange, almost giving like a mommy dearest vibe. Like it was, I mean, but we didn't get nothing like what I wanted to see. Like I would be fine with that if I had some build up for the payoff, but it was just like there, if that makes any sense. Um, the mystery what mystery whatever this movie was not good and i'm not gonna keep on trying to talk and make it better than what it was it's a no for me dog it's definitely a no for me dog the voice In is the just not of, uh, it's a no. what's his name randy jackson on american idol it's a no for me dog i give it two out of five stars and so for my diva recommendations i have fatal attraction and decent proposal and unfaithful these are all adrian lane movies and they were all done exceptionally better all right you guys so that concludes my review of deep water that is on the hulu platform make sure you check it out if you want to but it's a no for me let me know it was moochie's hidden gem yesterday on yes yesterday's live show so if by chance you're watching this you did watch the, um the live show check out the live show that's on my channel right now um yeah so that's it for me you guys until the next one make sure you like comment subscribe tell me whether or not you like the movie it's on hulu you're streaming it. you might as well just let me know okay all right so like comment and subscribe i'm nita your favorite diva and i'll catch you in the next one